Welcome to UAPB Currents. I'm your host, Shelley Roby Ingram, and today we are joined by our Director of Theater at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, the great Miss Cheryl Collins. It's Welcome. nice to see you, the great Miss Shelley. Thank you so much. We are always thrilled to have you guys on set to find out what you all have going on, mm -hmm. what you've done since mm -hmm. the last time we saw you. Mm -hmm. And so let's go ahead and just jump right in. Um, what? Uh, how did you guys end the uh, end the year, in the season uh, mm -hmm. of last year? Any? It, last year was an incredibly difficult year for mm -hmm. me because, you know, we lost our Alexis yeah. Skinner. Uh, we miss you, and uh, we miss her so much. But she's gone on to study for her Ph.D. Right. But it left me in a lurch right. because I ended up doing the whole year by myself. Yes. So I was taking students to competition. I was directing the plays and I was teaching all of yes. the classes. Yes. And so I ju it was just a year of exhaustion. I didn't even get over here last year, I don't right, think, to do right, an interview. Yeah. And uh, it ended up it ended up well for us because I didn't want the students to suffer in their experience of theater, either as a major or as a theater goer, right. because I was shorthanded. Mm -hmm. So we went to all the competitions we normally went to. Right. Uh, we had the productions we normally had, and we ended up at the um, NATSA, the National Association of Dramatic and Speech Arts, which was held in Baltimore last spring. Okay. We ended up coming second in the nation All right. with our production of Hansel and Gretel. Fabulous. And so that was really uh, a high note to end the year on, especially since I had such challenges. Right. And that's a testament to the training that mm -hmm. they received, mm -hmm. you know, and that, you know, the, the discipline that they have. And we have some wonderful students, so mm -hmm. we'll, we mm -hmm. expect nothing less mm -hmm. and thankfully you all have an opportunity you have some help this year and Yay! we'll get an opportunity to meet mm -hmm. her a little bit later on mm -hmm. in the show so you have another box office manager who's mm -hmm. going to be doing some instruction mm -hmm. and doing a lot more than just managing the box office right. she's everything i'm so excited because this year it's not that i get to relax but at least i get to breathe right if that makes sense so right. i'm so excited to have her absolutely fabulous mm -hmm. okay so tell us what this season is and mm -hmm. what we can expect from the theater department this season well we're starting the year out you know every year i like to offer a challenge to my students right. and sometimes uh in the past it had been doing a musical mm -hmm. or doing August Wilson or doing Shakespeare. Right. Well, this year our challenge is a Greek tragedy. Oh. And we are doing Hecuba. Okay. And part of the reason we're doing Hecuba is because it's a play that is near and dear to my heart. Many, many years ago when I was living in Washington, D.C., I starred as a title character in this production. Okay. And won many, many awards <laughs> in the D.C. area, uh, including a um, an accommodation from the governor of Maryland, from the Maryland Arts Council. Okay. So, and then this summer, I got an opportunity to be selected for the National Endowment for the Humanities. They had a, uh, a special focus uh, of scholars that were studying Greek Greek drama. Okay. So I went to Grambling for about a month this summer and studied nothing but Greek drama. Each week was a different writer. One week was Euripides, one week was Aeschylus, and one week was Sophocles. Okay. And I have a videotape of when I did uh, Hecuba, mm -hmm. and I shared it with the class, and my scholar, who was, who was taught Greek drama all over the world. He works at Boston University. He asked me for a copy and he said he's going to start using it in his presentation. So I was really quite honored by that. Mm, but great. we had a really wonderful time and I was submerged in Greek tragedy. So I'm back now <laughs> and I'm ready. And you're bringing those yes, tragedies and I'm bringing to the it UAPB. to my students, whether <laughs> they like it or not. The challenge is to my students to perform the Greek tragedy in a way that's compelling to our student audience. Okay. I want my students, the audience, to leave 
uh, saying, you know what, I didn't know I, I would enjoy Greek tragedy, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Right. So that's what the challenge is this year. We did that with Shakespeare a couple of years right. ago, and I was really excited about that. We did it with August Wilson, and some of this work seems kind of dense, but our students are very bright. They stick with it. Their friends are up there performing it, and they want them to do well. Right. And so it ends up being a wonderful experience for everybody because we all get enhanced by studying the classics. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we are going to go to break. And mm -hmm. when we come back from break, then we're going to have an opportunity to meet our newest addition to mm -hmm. the UAPB family. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit later on in the show, we'll come back and we'll talk about some of the productions for later on this season. And you guys are going to get an opportunity to see them in action, see a little bit of practice mm -hmm. that, you know, going on uh, as we practice and prepare yeah, for Hecuba. Calm it down. I won't yell at the children the way I know them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring you all of the juicy details and get everybody hooked mm -hmm. so that they'll come mm -hmm. out and mm -hmm. make sure that they're ready for a heck mm -hmm. Okay? So we will be right back on UAPB Currents. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. How did UAPB prepare me? The agriculture program. At the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, it is very hands-on. They teach us how to use the technology and the tools of today's industry. Career Services helped me obtain two internships, and that provided me the opportunities to travel to different places like the Florida Everglades, where I practice conservation work. Opportunities like that also taught me just how many different jobs I can do with my degree. I'll be working with the USDA as a soil conservationist. That is how UAPB prepared me. Welcome back to UAPB Currents. And again, we are here talking about this year's theater season. And we just previously spoken with Ms. Cheryl Collins, who is the director of theater here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. And now we'd like to take the opportunity to introduce you all, the UAPB family and community, to Ms. Angela Griffith Newkirk, who uh, is over the box office now here at the university and also um, serving as an instructor. That's right. Theater. That's right. Welcome to UAPB Currents. Um, give us a little bit of information, background information about yourself and tell us a little bit about what brings you to the theater here at UAPB. Okay. As you mentioned, my name is Angela Griffith Newkirk and I am actually returning to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I'm very happy to be back. I've hit the ground running, uh, trying to do my best to fulfill this new role as box office manager. It is an exciting role, as well as being an instructor here on campus. And I am an alumnus of uni the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, a 1988 graduate. And I came from a long line of those who deposited and helped us to catapult into the area of theater, Dr. Katie Godwin and many others. And so I matriculated through the program in theater under his tutelage and was able to get a sound foundation. And he just put into me a desire to go forth and do great things. And since I've been gone, I've been writing plays, directing plays, and of course teaching because teaching is my passion. And so I've had an opportunity to gain a lot of experience and get a lot of exposure. And now I think I'm prepared to come back home in which this is home, so I'm back home now, ready to make a difference, make an impact here on the campus. Okay, and with having previously been a part of the theater scene at UAPB and now returning to um, this newly renewed and, and built up um, 
theater program here at the university under Ms. Collins. What um, things do, do you see that you find encouraging about um, this group of, of students that are here now and, and uh, where do you see them kind of going for this season? Well, I can only base my experience on what has happened prior to my coming because the season is fresh. Mm -hmm. But I will say that I have a renewed excitement because of the energy that Cheryl Collins brings to the theater department. She is very well-rounded. She is decorated herself as a thespian. And what she is doing to empower these students to become their best, it is just exciting to watch. And she has ignited a fire in them they are driven and the the truth is in in or the proof is in her record of success as they have won awards on a national level they've gained recognition they performed at the Kennedy Center they performed in Dallas Texas so with that in mind we have a great leader and as she has mentioned this is our triumph season mm -hmm. and so we're just going nowhere but higher because we are we are demonstrating triumph on many different levels our season opening is going to be one that demonstrates that triumph and she's leading them in a great direction with her with her directorial skills so I'm very excited in the direction that she's leading these students in okay and what um, classes courses are you having the opportunity to teach as long with your box office management which I know is a, a full-time thing in itself that's right well, some of the courses that I'm teaching is theater management, mm -hmm. which helps students to get an understanding of the whole gamut of theater within itself. I'm also teaching dramatic criticism, and that helps them to analyze plays, and they get a foundation of really what the author is trying to say as they're writing these plays. And it's been an interesting journey as we kind of pull apart or, or dissect a script and we dissect some of the things that the author is saying so that we can get a better understanding because it has been said what comes from the heart reaches the heart and so as they get a better understanding they're able to shape their characters around that as well. Also, we have a stage lighting class that is being taught this semester, Acting 3 that is taught. And so all of these classes are going to help to give them that foundation and shape them to be better students in the area of theater. We're excited about this new Triumph season, and I know as the new box office manager, you're excited about this season as well. So let everyone know how they can contact you and get those uh, season tickets get a subscription to this triumph theater season because I know everyone wants to do that and um, just encourage everyone in the community and campus to come out and support you guys in the theater department this year okay thank you so much for the opportunity to be here on today and I make a plea to the UAPB family UAPB friends please call us for tickets. We want to fill our seats. We have something quality going on here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. The John McLean Ross players, they want your presence. So you can reach me for tickets. My email address is newkirka at uapb.edu. You can reach me by calling area code 870-575-8428. Please get your subscriptions to the UAPB Theater today. Call me and we'll go ahead and get you set up and we will take good care of you as you come to our house at the Hathaway Fine Arts Building in the Theater Department. Okay, all right, and thank you again so much for coming and welcome back to thank UAPB you. and the theater and we will be seeing you this theater season. We'll be keeping up with you guys. We'll be looking for you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. And we'll be right back on UAPB Current. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. And then we're going to turn the lights and everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. Finally won. What's your reaction? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And unconventional methods. Uh, okay, what else? Common. 
by Zeta. This is their world. I'm a teacher. I make more. Hi, I'm Sunflower Wilson, a recent graduate with a degree in fisheries biology. As I begin working on my master's, I am confident in the skills and lessons that UAPB has taught me through instructors like Dr. Hawkness. Sunflower challenged herself with a rigorous course curriculum. Her efforts led to numerous presentations in front of scientific audiences at state and national venues. A National Science Foundation internship gave her the opportunity to go to Alaska and work with scientists examining crustacean physiology. UAPB prepares its students for opportunities like these every day. UAPB prepared me. Welcome back to UAPB Currents, and now we are joined again by Ms. Cheryl Collins, who is the Director of Theater here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, and we've just had an opportunity to meet your, uh, your right-hand woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your Isn't help. she lovely? <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> I'm so excited to have her here. I uh, interviewed a lot of prospects this summer, and she seemed to be the perfect fit because right. she had worked here before, she graduated from the program, right. she knew the culture here, she understood it, and she has hit the ground running, joined right in, and she's doing a beautiful, beautiful job. So I'm very excited. Okay. All right. Now, um, we um, always have such a, a full plate of things to, to talk about. You guys stay so busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, tell us about the other productions that you all will be presenting this season. Well, we always do a children's production in February. And I'm so thankful you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am, too. I really love bringing live theater to our, our uh, students of Pine Bluff and the surrounding areas. And they are excited to come. Always. And now I'm meeting teenagers who grew up coming to see our play right. so it's really exciting uh, our play this year is called Cinderella the remix oh. and it's by the same gentleman who wrote Zomo the rabbit I don't oh, know if you remember we Zomo, oh, yes. we remember the hip-hop <laughs> creation myth and he sets his children's plays in the hip-hop world okay and I thought because we've got uh, Cinderella, the Rodgers and Hammerstein version being right. done on Broadway this mm -hmm. year starring Kiki Palmer, uh -huh. the first African-American Cinderella. I thought in homage to that we would try to do our own Cinderella and in our production it's in hip-hop Hollywood oh. and Cinderella wants to be a DJ and girls aren't allowed to DJ in hip-hop Hollywood. Wow. And so instead of a mean, uh, she does have a mean stepmother, she lives in the basement of her house where she spins. Her mean stepmother's name is Bad Mama Jamma. <laughs> And she has a mean stepbrother, Chocolate Ice. And she has to disguise herself as a boy in, or in order to get into Jay Prince's party and spin, uh -oh. right? And uh, with the help of her fairy godmother, Hopra, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she does get that help. And the, the, the play is about um, girls getting an equal chance to do the same things the boys do. Wow. So it's going to be fun. The kids are going to love it. They're going to love the music. They're going to love the, to dance and rap and all of that. And there'll be a lesson as well. So that's our Cinderella, Cinderella the Remix wow. by Selma Yene 24. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, but we're almost out of time. Mm -hmm. And so we want to remind everyone that the production that will be coming up in November mm -hmm. is Hecuba. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys will be looking forward to going to see Hecuba first, but go ahead and, and com contact the box office again, as Ms. Newkirk said, and find out about how you can subscribe to the theater season. I'll let you tell them, because you, you do it so much. Yes. Better. Tell uh, them they need to come out. Please come out. Our this. season is called the Season of triumph and I'm so excited about that because we are triumphant this is my seventh year at the school right. a complete cycle of seven I'm right. so excited we've got Angela I've got students in school graduating um, I'm just so excited about the whole year and our um, 
our last show will be an improvisation show. Okay. Mm -hmm. So come on out, enjoy yourself, love you, love having you. Schools, start contacting us now for the February show, the children's show. Okay. All right. You heard her. Contact her right now for the February show. Schools, contact Ms. Newkirk for subscriptions, for tickets. Go ahead and start sending your support because they do some amazing, beautiful things with these sets, these clothing, designs, and all those kind of things. And they would really appreciate your support. And we look forward to seeing you at the theater mm -hmm. here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. What direction did you give them? Oh, not to give a direction. Because when we were doing it, I was doing this to um, Arisa. Uh -huh. And I just told her that, um, like, her face, the facial expression. Okay. <laughs> Action. Hecuba! Queen Hecuba! We, we come, come as quickly as we could. Lady, we bring more pain. A new burden of loss. We overheard just now. Oh, my grief, my grief. What more can I say? Can language name my loss? First to face age, then to descend into bondage. Oh, my grief. Women of Troy, evil bringers, harbingers of woe, your words spit death in my face. I choose life, whose light has become such darkness. Okay. Ah, uh, it's this way. Oh, women of Troy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Action.
will see you next time on UAPB Currents.